a framework for open and reproducible research training. What is FORT? FORT is a community-driven organisation designed by and envisioned for educators who wish to integrate open science principles into their teaching. So why is FORT important? Although there has been progress towards the adoption of open science practices in many areas and disciplines, so far the teaching of open science has received relatively little attention. It's important that there are resources in place to support the teaching of open and reproducible science principles, as this will facilitate broader and quicker adoption of these practices. But how does FORT support the teaching of open science? Well, on FORT's website you can find a number of sections that may be useful to educators. I'm going to go through each of these eight components now to give you an idea of what they offer. First up, we have FORT clusters. In an effort to reduce some of the burden on educators wishing to learn or teach these concepts, FORT has drawn on the expertise of more than 50 members of its community to identify seven clusters of open and reproducible science literature. You can see a list of these clusters here. The next way in which FORT can support educators to teach open science is through its Open and Reproducible Science syllabus, which is based on the clusters that you saw above. This syllabus is set up as a seminar series covering a variety of activities over nine weeks. Another element that may be useful is FORT's self-assessment tool. This survey can be used by educators to evaluate the extent to which their teaching and mentoring communicate the principles of open and reproducible science. Another useful section of FORT's website is the Curated Resources section. On this page, users can find a database of over 700 resources relating to open science, including educational materials, research articles and tools for teaching. Next up, we have FORT Summaries. The FORT community have prepared over 100 summaries of open and reproducible science literature. These summaries aim to reduce some of the burden on educators looking to incorporate open and reproducible research principles into their teaching. A really important part of the website is FORT initiatives. Unfortunately, the world of science is not equal, and there are barriers to the success of marginalised groups, whether that be based on gender, race, ethnicity, origin or social class. Therefore, FORT have devised at least three ways to be proactive in reaching out to the community. For example, at least once a month, the FORT community holds its office hours for anyone in the world wishing to learn, adopt and disseminate open and reproducible science principles. It is also open to those with interest or questions about teaching these concepts. FORT also offers a remote mentorship program in which people from underprivileged or underrepresented backgrounds can be paired with a mentor who will facilitate the adoption of open and reproducible science principles. Finally, FORT also provides support for underprivileged and underrepresented early career researchers in other areas, for instance with applications, grant proposals, academic writing, research development and statistical analyses. Another useful component of FORT's website is the page detailing seven ways to adopt principal teaching and mentoring practices. I'd really recommend you check it out. The last component on the website that can support educators in teaching open and reproducible science is the Educators Corner. This page aims to provide a platform for educators to share their stories, successes and hardships in teaching and mentoring. Educators can also share educational practices and initiatives that may be of interest to the open science community. And with that, we've gone through all eight components that support educators to teach open and reproducible science. To find out more about these, visit the Educational Nexus on FORT's website. Finally, if you want to hear more from FORT, you can go to our website, which you can see here. You can also follow us on Twitter, at FORT Project. And also watch our videos on YouTube by searching FORT Project. And finally, email us at fortproject.gmail.com if you have any questions or would like to get involved with Fort. Anyone is welcome.